Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and a pleasant special thanks to those of you that have subbed this far. Please continue to subscribe down below in the easy to use sub button to keep us going and growing up above at the easy to use widget at the end. But this is going to be a key takeaways from the first game of the Mike Yo era video as the Flyers lost 7 to 5 to the Colorado Avalanche where the offense got going, but some of the same defensive woes continued, and it was the worst game of the Martin Jones era in Philadelphia. His only really bad game of the entire Entire season this far, where you have to expect those mixed in, obviously, from your backup goaltender, where that was one of those for him. But the good things I noticed as key takeaways from this game were one, Limblum on a nice pass from TK from behind the net was able to get his first goal of the season being moved up on the first line and not buried. You're not going to get going being buried on the freaking fourth line. Yo, basically, like he said um, after the game to Limblum, he didn't know how it would work out, but it worked out in bunches as he was able to get the goal. Um, obviously, we also had G scoring another great pass uh, for a one-timer goal from TK. So TK also got going in this game. Two very nice passes on the G goal and a very nice pass on the Giroux goal. And then also, uh, Giroux uh, moved into a tie with Bobby Clark for power play point when he scored later in the period, his second of the game, on a blast on the power play which other than Konechny aforementioned getting the assist on that play, it was Keith Yondel with the other assist, where on Giroux's first goal, we had an assist from Morgan Frost and Rasmus Ristolainen, where I agree with Mike Yo, Frost has kind of been like a wavesy confidence guy at the NHL level, where against the Rangers, when he was able to get his goal, it looked like for the rest of the second period, he was kind of just cruising there for a little bit, and then kind of obviously got into some of the trouble um, in the third period there, but he's a guy that does seem to be doing things in different confidence waves here, and there's no problem with that, obviously. It's just uh, you would like to obviously see him get going a little bit more consistently, but I think he had a solid game overall, and he's playing pretty well. Overall, Morgan Frost is just, he doesn't really know how good he is yet, like Yo's also said, and once he figures that out, uh, he'll be in a really good spot. Um, Hayes and TK, again, had two apples, so Hazy also looked pretty good in this game. Like Jamie said, it looks like he's kind of grinding through something right now, but a key takeaway was he definitely looked good in this game. And also, Seor made a couple of really nice passes early, used the body well, uh, made a couple defensive mistakes later, but you expect that from a 6-7 defenseman. It'll be interesting to see what we do with him moving forward with now Kevin Connaughton getting claimed who moves a little bit more in the skates and adds a little bit more of an offensive potential than Nick Seward does. I'm going to do a video on him being claimed shortly as well. But the other key takeaway from this game in the negative is the uh, Flyers allowed another early second period goal just like they did um, to Kreider, 34 seconds in, and Radish, 256 in, in the two previous games to this one. Uh, so you got to obviously stop allowing those early second period goals, um, where in this game, that early second period tally was to Valerie Nachuskin for his seventh of the season. So that's something, obviously, especially when you go into the period four to three, you don't want to be having these bad trends with allowing an early second period goal to just tarnish your entire momentum. Um, so that's something they definitely have to fix. Um, Atkinson, though, a key thing to get him going. He also did well in this game. He went out with an injury, came back, returned, and scored in the third period. And then also Scotty Lawton continued to do miraculous things in the PK, getting another shorty goal there late in the third period to make it a 7-5 to five loss. The last key takeaway as I wrap up this video um, that I take is from this game is that the Flyers battled a lot more in the first game of the Mike Yo era. In the last eight games of this losing streak, this of course made it nine, which I'm not happy about to make it nine, but there's at least some freaking stuff to take away from this game. There's some stuff to pull from it where... In this game, yes, they let 50 shots on goal. You can't be doing that, especially against an Avalanche team. You don't want to be going to an offensive back and forth bout. But on the flip side, we finally got the offense going to score five goals. So that's a positive moving forward. And then also, even in a game 
that the goaltending didn't play well, where that has been happening all season. The Flyers were able to stay in it, and they battled to the last minute. The problem in this game was they were too undisciplined and gave them too many power plays to one of the most dangerous power plays and just let Cal McCarr go through the middle of the ice. But I think the biggest key in this game as I wrap it up was there was that more battle. There was that battle to the end. You didn't see as it went downhill, it just all kept going downhill. You kept seeing a fight back. And that's what led to a 7-5 loss to one of the most potent offenses in hockey in the Colorado Avalanche. The Flyers were able to stay right there with them. So that's a key takeaway coming in, where if their offense can play this good against a struggling Devils team, which I'll be doing a preview for later today to that game that's happening this evening, then I think they'll be sitting pretty good at the Prudential Center up there in New Jersey later today. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a key takeaways video of our Philadelphia Flyers from the Colorado Avalanche game. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the day.